Now before you tune out, I've got a little bit different take on this and from most normal people. And I guess I would say most people think that situational awareness is keeping your head on a swivel, right? Which is just, you know, a visual representation for looking around, making sure you know what's around you and what's happening. That's true, but it doesn't paint a perfectly accurate picture. It doesn't talk anything about the research and the planning that goes into the background. It's only reactionary. So keeping your head on a swivel is reactionary. Keeping yourself in condition of readiness is reactionary. It means you're going to react in a certain way if a problem arises. Now on its face there doesn't sound to be anything wrong with that, right? But what if with you know prior proper planning um, you could predict future events? The way I want to break this down, and this is a huge topic, and I'm just kind of scratching the surface here, so we'll call this maybe a part one. We'll see if I get to it, part two or three with situational awareness. Now there's a military term called area of operation. Actually all three of these are borrowed from the military, but they are, and I'm going to switch you guys over to my recorded screen here and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. But basically you've got um, your area of interest, your area of influence, and your area of operation. Now your area of interest is going to be something like your entire town. And on the screen here you can see my town of Columbia, Missouri. I live somewhere around here and this would be my area of interest. Now if I were to zoom in on a certain area of town, let's just pick, yeah, let's pick this kind of left corner. I know there's a bunch of like houses and stuff there. I'm gonna to switch to satellite view so you can kind of see the different blocks and areas. So let's say my area of interest was narrowed down to, there, here, this one is a good one, this square right here. You've got West Broadway on the north, you've got Stadium Boulevard on the east, you've got Rollins Road on the south, you've got Fairview Road on the west. Okay, so that would be my area of influence. Now, let's say my house was inside of there, maybe this street of Braymore Road, right in through here. Let's say my house was one of those. Okay, that would be my area of operation, and maybe the few, how, or the few streets uh, surrounding that area. So let me ask you a few questions about your area of interest, which again is at the city level. Do you know all the names of the streets in your entire town? Most people, the obvious answer is no. Do you have a good feel on you know, the different areas of town and the different demographics and the type of people uh, that live in those areas of town? Maybe, you probably have broad you know, descriptors, right? Like we know that, you know, the, across the tracks over there, that's the bad side of town. And over there across the tracks, that's the rich side of town. Like we have those kinds of descriptors, but you really don't know much other than that. Now you, sw now you shrink down to your, your area of influence, which is basically your neighborhood. You might know, you might know the ro all the road names in, in your, your neighborhood, let's say a 10 block radius. I don't, I don't know all those, those road names. I don't know all the people, I don't know all the businesses. So there's a lot of information there that is still foreign to me. But if you shrink it down to my area of operation, my street, the next street, the houses on my street, the people on my street, that old lady that walks the dog every Friday morning at 10 a.m., so you've got those things, those, you know, those houses, those cars, those street names, those people that you recognize because you're there. You're there every day. You have patterns of your own within your area of operation and other people do. You recognize them, they recognize you. Cars are same, houses are same. Most times things don't change. So within your area of operation, you have created, and this is kind of the main point of situational awareness you have created a baseline. You know that in your area of operation, houses look like this, and cars look like this, 
and these people are there, this is how these people dress, this is what they do on a normal basis. Anything then that goes outside of those norms, that baseline, sticks out and you notice it. That's situational awareness. And it varies, you know, based on the different places you go, even in my town alone. So if I were to zoom out of my neighborhood and just go up by the mall, I mean, that's like four or five blocks away. And again, that's not my neighborhood. I'm not going to show you guys where I live. Sorry about that. But um, if I go out of my neighborhood and go up to the mall area, the demographics completely change. The baseline is completely different. I can expect to see a completely different type of crowd there wearing different things, acting different ways. The baseline changes. And I need to know what that is if I'm going to dominate that area or be able to um, you know, be proactive in my planning to keep myself and my family safe when I go to the mall area. So the big thing that I want to throw out today, because this is already longer than I wanted to do, I want to tell you about um, your area of interest, your area of influence, and your area of operation. We'll get into more of those in maybe a part two or three. That's because they're important to understand in your planning for your preparedness, right? And your survival, your streets, your street savvy, your street smarts. And then I also wanted to say baseline, right? Establish a baseline for your area of operation. What do people look like? What do they do? Their behavior patterns? What are they wearing? What do they drive? This is how those people most often interact, act, drive, it's where they go, they go to this church, yada, 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 you get the idea. And learn those patterns. And then anytime anything happens outside of that baseline and you will immediately recognize it and have a plan to defeat it. Guys, thanks for watching today. Make sure and smash that subscribe button and stay every day ready for the adventures we choose and the emergencies we don't.